Welcome back everyone. Today I have another video. This time I'm, I have Chanks and um, I do have the sauce for today. I, I, I was trying this deck because I, I, I said that I was going to make a video about this leader if it got more film support and it did get more film support in this set and it's absolutely amazing. The, the best card that the deck got was Skill Tesoro. Uh, this card being able to minus one get two of your uh, 2k counters back to your hand incredibly powerful and especially in this strategy where you're trying to um ramp early to get to 10 down and then play two cards that are value like if you play two guild tesoros in one turn you draw four cards basically uh that's insane that's a, a lot of value for a uh, little investment and trying to do what you want to do and once you have an established board of film cards this leader is like any other leader like you this leader is almost undefendable once you have a, a, like three or four uh film cards out because you attack for eight, uh, 8 on the leader and then give the ability to everyone else and this becomes an 8k, 8K. like for 1 down becomes a 9k this one becomes 7k's like there's a lot of value even if you, you can even attack with Buena Fiesta because it becomes a 2k and then you attack for like you attach a couple of down you can attack with it if you need to so there's a lot of value in the deck inherently uh, and it works very well now cards that I try and you're gonna probably see in the deck in, in the gameplay uh, but they were really bad was this one the Sephiroth. I, I thought it could be good But like I never want to just one play one car especially at seven done. So This being the only play that you can do that turn is really bad um, The card that I could see playing that I didn't play instead of that one could be like the Ura If you have an established board, this can be really really strong um, I have um, that, that started the ones that I try and everything else i we have to get more film cards to keep improving upon this deck so uh this deck it does very well against yellow it deals very well against everything that is not um uh gecko moria and sakatsuki those are like the two difficult matches for this deck um can you beat them yes but it requires you to have a very very good hand like uh you need to if you're going second you need aim into another ramper if you're going first you need a ramper into uh some value and 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 that's not always the case like that's that's a really specific hand and i it, it will still come down to like real like real gameplay choices at that point but it's still it's a really fun deck it's a really good deck and um i wanted to showcase it for that reason at first but with that being said let's go see some gameplay and a huge thanks to car market for sponsoring this video all right and my opponent chose to go first so let's mulligan for the four drop we haven't found it. We can look for it though. Let's try to get it. We did not. So what do we look for here? The 2k counter? Probably. All right. Maybe we get a four cost here. Hmm, there's a lot of twos. Uh, two, two. What did he get with the first one? Oh, big mom, ten drop. Uh, hopefully, move to the bottom. Look up opponent's top life. You didn't look at his, huh? We do need some ramp here. So we can outpace that big mom. That he searched for. I guess at least we have a, a play for next turn. Ah, sad. I don't need anything else anymore, so I just play this one, attack for six. See if he combos. Well, at the very least, he won't be able to play Okikus for free. So that's a uh, silver lining here. But I still don't have ramp. Where is my ramp? Look at the opponent's life again. I can combo out of this one though. I don't want him to trigger any Okikus. That's why. So then I'll take five. I 
Okay. Reject is really good against us, though. Maybe I should catch out the Guild Tesoro then. Instead of playing the, the kid. Because that tells me he has another one. But minusing done here is so bad. No, I'll take the hit if he has it. He has a reject. He's not playing 7 drop. Okay, I'm okay with that. If I can delay the 7 drop one turn, I think I'm okay with that. Oh, no. He's not gonna delay it, but it's still okay for us. I'll trash one. We have this guy, which is not bad, but I think we can play two cards here. Not really. So let's play the Tesoro. Get back. We could get back her. Doesn't sound bad. So that way we can play and then... You know what? I, I'm kind of convinced myself there. <laughs> Alright, now he can play Okikus, but we're still going to attack for a lot here. Let's play... Yeah, let's just attack for 6. Attack for 5 first, because he's going to combat that one. He doesn't get to play Big Mon until the following following turn, so it's good. Five, six, seven. I mean, five, six, six. Probably best. I don't want him to play cards out of life. I think. Five, six. Six. Okay, they hit the Kiku. No, he didn't. All right, I feel I feel confident. I feel good. Now I will defend this one. Although he probably just gonna try to kill it. Really, he's gonna attack with this. You know what? I'll give you a five. Nah. Nah, you good. <laughs> Not gonna give you a five on that one. Oh, GG. Uh, he could make us discard a lot of cards here. Do we care? No, we don't. I mean, do we need to keep this guy up? Not really, right? He doesn't get pumped. And... Yeah, not really. I don't need this. You're good. I'll take it. Ah, that's a break. Although not much, so much of a break. Because I can go with this one. Use action. Draw two. Discard one. Discard this one. I don't think it's going to be useful. Then we can go... We have five, so we can bounce back. Yeah, we can get this. Or you can also do this one, the Tesoro. Get back two Connors. Use the ability. Put him to zero. Let's see if he takes this one. Now, because we have enough damage here. 
Oh, who cares? Well, maybe we don't have enough damage now. Maybe it is good to do the Tesoro here. Let's see what he does here. And then maybe I play the Tesoro then. Okay, so he's trying to go for a game next turn. That's fine. Then we're going to play the Tesoro so we can just get two cards back. That way he doesn't... I mean, he has to go through a lot to be able to kill us. And I'm going to defend everything. If he attacks my creatures, I defend. Yeah, because he's trying to play a big mom. Yep, just what I thought. But we have enough attackers here. I think he only has three cards in hand. There's no way he can survive. And the reason we keep this one is because he can attack for seven, of course. Uh, here, we just attack for 8. I could have attacked for 7-7 seven, seven on this one, actually. That probably was better. Attack for 7. And it didn't matter what my opponent did. <laughs> Uh, a kiss. We can still kill him with this if he combos out of this. A nine and nine. Yeah, there's no way he could have survived that one. Uh, all right, the deck worked very well. All right, uh, let's play against Gecko. Uh, I think I want to go first on this one. This hand is great, so we're going to keep. The reason I want to go first is because I don't want him to start doing his leader ability as early as turn one, turn two. Uh, I want him to uh, to play until the end. He either has to choose to do the leader ability or the other one, and I'm okay with that. Uh, this hand is fine because he has a ramp. <laughs> honestly, that's the bare minimum for this deck. Honestly, um, let's go. Let's get going. I'm trying to get to ten as soon as possible. Is my goal. Uh, he has some cards now in hand, so it's not terrible for him. Oh. Okay, he has uh, Hell's Back. We could combo out of this one early. Don't see the reason not to. Oh, I guess that's the reason. Uh, I'll take it. You see how important it is to delay that trigger a little bit. Attack here. See if he wants to take. Now, does he have uh, the dude? He doesn't seem to have it. So, this is very good for us. If that's the case. And then I think I'll play Tesoro. So, because he goes, offers me the highest upside into his Gecko Moria turn. Then he won't be able to play Gekko Moria. Yeah, he's going to remove this one. But then uh, this one, I don't think is going to be that easy. But we'll see what happens here. And then we finish it off with a Kaido. Probably what I need to do. Oh, we can play two cards next turn, right? We go to eight. Yeah, that's eight. You know what? I'll take it. Does he have another Perona? Well, no, he needs the uh, the guy. 
But he needs to minus my cards again, doesn't he? Wait, how is he going to remove this? Oh, I guess he was looking for the removal. He doesn't have the removal. He was looking for it. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. I'll take this. This is amazing. <laughs> And now into his Gecko turn. All right, that's cool. He can still have Rob Lucy. It could be an issue. He KOs this one, KOs this one. And then what do we have left? We have Kaido left. I think that's that's okay, I guess. You can go a rob maybe giving him a eruption target plus like Ice Age is not great for us. Maybe it was just better to attack for a big number. Get rid of this and and see what we do from there. But he didn't have the removal, so and he wants to play a Gekko Mori, I assume. Maybe he doesn't. We could save a little bit of life here if we're going to refill with this one. We don't know if that's going to happen, but. <sighs> so what do we do? What do we do? We're not going to play this guy if. Well, he's going to play Gecko, right? He's playing like he's going to play a Gecko Mori. So then we have to answer with Kaido. I'm going to take the risk here. Okay, so he is going to play the Gekko Moria. I'll take this one. That's a good draw here. Right? Please play the Gekko Moria. <laughs> I mean, I'll be fine with me because I can just draw some cards and... Yeah, okay. Is he going to play this? Oh, he can play this and this. Wait, that doesn't work. Oh, I guess it works. You have to play this guy first, don't you? I guess it doesn't matter. He chooses both. Alright, it's fine. We expected this. Uh, this this one and then we have sixes here yeah I like it then he has Gecko Moria which is good enough at this point I think uh, he made able to remove what this aura. It was kind of bad for us. That I didn't like. So where does my opponent go from here? He destroys our Ura and attacks this one for a bunch. Yikes. That does not look good for me. Oh boy, he's going for game. Can we go for game back at him? Maybe. Uh, can we outcombo this? This will be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I have uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Only if this is a 1k. And I think it was the best opportunity to win this game. Because I don't think I can beat the long game here. So if this is a 1k, I can I can survive the 5 and the, and the 12. If it's not, I will not be able to. I think I'll, I'll take the risk. It has to be a 1k. I think it's, it's a high probability. Yes, okay. We survive. Uh, give this one away. Mm 
There you go. No blockers. And then we have to go for game here. But we can. That's the that's the nice thing here. Attack for eight. Although he has a lot of cars. He probably oh well he used a lot of two Ks. So maybe he doesn't have enough. Uh we go eight again. Go eight, nine, and ah, such. He had enough. Oh, that's GG. Wow, he had a lot of two Ks in that game. All right, so we're gonna be playing. Choose to go second, so we're going first. I think it's fine because we have the Ura. In turn, yeah, we also have the law, so we kind of just attack for a big number, turn two, yeah. Kind of just works. Then let him go. And then we go Ura. Then probably another Ura. I want to combo early so I can get back something with the Zoro. Oh, I cannot combo seven, it's too much. <laughs> he didn't play anything, eh? All right, well. Attack for five. And then let's play Ura. Let him go. Ramping next turn doesn't do anything for me, but it's fine. Oh. Well, add a card. I could. Now let's play Ura. Attack for eight. Oh, he's gonna combo to that one, eh? This is an obnoxious card. I might play Kaido before I play something else. Because of how annoying that is. I'll take the double strike, right? Then I play Kaido and and I'm okay with that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm gonna do that. I'll take the double. Hmm, annoying car. Let's deploy this one, use action. Attack for 11, if he wants to combat to that one. Then we're in a bit of a pickle, but nah, even then, should be fine. We'll just attack everything here. Next turn, he's dead. Wait, what? So he's gonna put me to one, is that what it is? And then he can tap my queen. Hmm. Then we'll just go for game next turn, right? Yeah, we'll just go for game next turn then. Depending on what he does, honestly. Because I can just buy back 2k counters, depending on what he does. If he attacks my creatures, then that's fine. We also have a lot of damage coming up next turn. Like 8, 8, 8, 10. That's very difficult to out combo. So if he tries to go for game, uh, we just... We just punish him back. I think he just dies next turn, honestly. So what does he have? A jungle? Oh, he has a D jungle. Huh? So that's 10k. Ten and ten. Or he can attack dual for seven seven. 
I mean, either way, I have enough Connor. Yeah, I think that's fine. Ooh, I almost triggered that by accident. Attack for five, no blocker. Uh, just combo five. No blocker, combo that one. A two, and a one. This buys back two 2k counters, but not yet. I mean, later, the next turn, I guess. And then we go eight. Very difficult for him to win here. One, two, three, makes this one's eight. So we'll attack for nine. And then uh, nine. And then 12. Yeah, chunks can kill you back out of nowhere. All right, we're gonna go second, and this hand is uh, great. We have a ramp. Okay, we have a Kaido, which could be good. Uh, we're just gonna let him go. I don't, uh, we might need a second ramp. Maybe I should have played this one to get a second ramp. But it's fine. I want to see if I need it or not. Like I can play this. The next, he didn't attack me. Okay. I guess he wants to play Gadatsu, but Gadatsu can always kill my four drop. Seems weird. Uh. Okay. Seven drop big mom is really good in this matchup. Like back to back could be even if he unless he has multiple of those. And he didn't play Gadatsu. Ooh, this? <laughs> this is weird. Uh, I'll take because I wanna see if I get a, a ramp. That's all I'm interested in right now. We did not, but we can search once more. And we did get it. Okay. So that means that we can get to 6 to 10 next turn. Very, very important. And then attack with this one. And then we're super fast now next turn we can play tesoro and and uh queen get back to whatever i counter this turn keep up my hand size and oof. i'm gonna trash because i don't need it i have a lot of cards that i can combo here no blocker uh this comes up for less so combo that one No blockers, combo the 2k. Next turn we're gonna get him back anyway. I think we have a good yellow matchup in general, but although my opponent didn't attack turn one. Let's, not, let's be real here. <laughs> but I, even in general, I think like, what else besides attacking turn two like they could have done differently here. He hit two triggers out of life. He did it like pretty much everything that you want to do in this matchup. On any matchup, he's playing Lin Lin. Next turn, he's probably going to play another Lin Lin. Oh, he's defending that one, eh? I don't care. If he wants to defend, he's giving me his hand. He can go ahead and do so. What's he gonna do here? Okay, that's fine. We can get rid of that one. Next turn, uh, I guess I'll discard this one. I guess it doesn't matter. Get a 2k, get a Ura, let him go. And our hand size is <laughs> huge. <laughs> he hasn't even gotten to 10. 
So him playing a Tendra Big Mom is not gonna happen this this game. We could even attempt to kill the Lin Lin, and then he doesn't have anything at all. But we're probably just likely gonna go for a game. Uh, we can control the board a little bit. Because we have also again another of this combo next turn. So we can afford to defend super aggressively. Uh, just block with queen. And then we can just take it slow because, I mean, 10 drop is not going to kill us. He's doing Hell Marys here. I mean, at that point, we just play Kaido, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, we just play Kaido. Attack the big mom. So even if he does have reject, uh, we don't really care. I guess we could have pushed for more. Ah, but it's fine. I can just kill him next turn. It doesn't matter what he has here. He has to have reject plus uh, attack us with the leader. We don't really want to trigger the cards out of life. What do you have? Okiku. Do we want to risk another one? I don't think so. He has to have the cards here. Oh, Big Mom? Sure. We're still gonna be able to kill him next turn. 2k Connor. Five. Uh, I'll attack for five, seven here. Oh! What happened? I guess my opponent left. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right. And for the final thoughts on this deck, only because it has a bad matchup versus black decks in general, um, I'm, I'm thinking of giving it a, a, a four-star leader, a 4.5, because I think it, it, it being good against yellow, trust me, I, I love that about this deck. Uh, not being good against black, uh, Fair enough, uh, like no, you cannot be good against everything, but it's good against everything else but yellow. That's the only deck that is like very difficult, but uh, I really love the deck. I, I'm not yellow, I'm sorry, but black, but I love the deck. It is really fun to play and it really makes this leader uh, that it was considered for many uh, as a, the worst leader. It's not, it's not, it's not. It's, it, his ability, inherently ability, is very, very strong. And the more film support that we get, the better this deck gets. So when we get more support about this leader, I will make another video for him. And better and more support for films on, on purple is what this deck needs to be uh, absolutely a, a, a powerhouse, let me tell you. But with that being said, uh, thank you all for watching and have a good day.